food shop on South Congress. The moment of truth. Yay! I'm making a potato masala for puri. I cook my potato always in the uh, microwave, mm -hmm. so I like to grate it into slices, mm -hmm. then I can mash it really well. I have company coming, so I'm grating a lot of potatoes. <laughs> this is my microwave container. I love this. I put water in the bottom, then I put the potatoes in the container and cover it. And since I have four potatoes, I may need to cook it for 12 minutes. Put some oil in it. I'm supposed to put curry leaves in it too, if you have. Everything is optional, I mean. What is this? Mustard seed. When the mustard seed pops, I'll add my green chili and the ginger, a little bit of ginger, okay? My green chili is very spicy, so I'm only adding a little bit and I can add the onion. We need more onion, okay? For the color, I'm adding a little tomato to it. I'm not a professional cook or anything, so I'm only adding turmeric and cumin to this um, dish. dish. You don't need a, a whole lot of spice to make something. <laughs> cumin and a little black pepper. Coriander leaves came out of the oven. Microwave. Microwave <laughs> oven. <laughs> um, you add it to the mix. You add some salt. loose. I am going to add some hot water to it. So as the final touch I am going to add just a little lemon. Puri bhaji is ready. Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We are exploring Laguna Beach. We actually went to the OC after our LA trip and we're visiting my grandma in Irvine. But today we wanted to do a little beach day because it's finally sunny and a little bit warmer than all the other days. So let's do it. We're starting off the day at Driftwood Kitchen with a little oceanfront breakfast. I made a reservation this morning. So it's pretty easy to get in here. We are splitting French toast and then I got the Laguna omelet and this has goat cheese. Yeah. Should we cross? It's a really good day for the beach. Set up shop, get our towels out. It's so calm. I was actually expecting so many more people to be on the beach, but I think that way is the castle. This is Victoria Beach. 
So I had the same pair of rainbows from ninth grade <laughs> until like maybe three weeks ago. So I brought my new pair and I always have this kind of tradition where I dunk it in the water and let them dry out in the sun. Why do you do that? Uh, it kind of breaks them in better. So my old pair feels like amazing. Mm -hmm. I did it at the beach. Uh, so I'm going to start fishing with these, I guess, today. Put them in the water and let them dry out. Very exciting. Uh, isn't it? How'd you keep them for so long? They literally never got ruined or broke. They're pretty fast. They're pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's why I got new ones. Them, I think people mostly Yeah, because people just like take them at the beach and stuff. Yeah, or like dogs chew them or oh, something, true. you know. Yeah. So, Alright. Good luck. Go yeah. Stay? I want to put my feet in the water. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It's cold. <laughs> Look at that big piece of driftwood. So cool. But the water's so blue, it's beautiful. I'm sad. Apparently my battery is dying. I didn't think that it would, but we did a little photo shoot on the beach and Ryan is such a good photographer. He just gets better and better. <laughs> but we definitely took a little nap. That felt really nice. No, I, oh, you didn't? Oh, I passed out <laughs> and it was very nice. another battery in my bag. I'm so excited because I love vlogging on this camera. But we took some really cool pictures with my newest camera, which is the Fuji Film X100B. Shit's pricey, but like, holy crap, all of the photos are so good and it has film simulations in it. So basically it has these like custom presets that you can customize, <laughs> um, but it looks like film photos. So I love this camera. It's just a lot more compact than this one that I'm vlogging on right now. The beach was so pretty. Yeah, it was really sandy though. I stopped standing like, everywhere. Yeah, but that's a given. That's yeah. like the worst part of the beach. There's no hose or anything after the stairs. Oh, yeah, that's true. A lot of stairs, too. Yeah. <laughs> the water was so blue. I just feel like I don't remember it being this blue when I came here growing up. Like, I would always come here during the summers. Um, but we also didn't really, like, go to Laguna. I guess it was more recent that we started going to this beach. But we are going to get gelato. And we tried this place with my cousin last time we were here. And it was so, so good. I think it's called Gelato Paradiso. So we're going to go get some ice cream and then we'll head back to my grandma's house. I know she's cooking some, I think it's like pork curry or chicken curry, but either one sounds really good. He's lying so long. He's not lying. He's lying. He was just not walking fast enough. There was like literally five people that walked right in front. I was like, Ryan, why did you let them? Sea salt caramel. What'd you get? I got butter pecan and hazelnut. Yeah. So good, so creamy, not icy at all. <laughs> we are in a store called the T-shirt Company. I wanted to get a Laguna hat, even though I have like a million trucker hats by now. But I also found this T-shirt, and I just want more sleep shirts. So, what do you think? I feel like it's very basic, but I kind of like it, and it's not that expensive. All right, never mind. I just found this, and I kind of want this now. What do you think? I mean, at least I'll wear this like out. Like, I'm sure I probably won't wear out, you know? You can wear that. Might want to get a smaller size and wear it out. You're XL. You. It's really big. It doesn't seem like that big. Mm -hmm. but maybe. Yeah. And I'll wear that if you uh, get to XL. Just make your choice. Yeah, I definitely need an 
Wow, well, he's not going to work. <laughs> What are you making? I'm making a snack for you. Some pork curry. Yeah. Mm. I'm back home. I'm pooped from the beach. Getting a snack from Amma. Ryan, say hi. You're going to go in with her YouTube at all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's going in my YouTube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably the most awkward start to a vlog, but I forgot to start it while I was in the car. It's so rainy here in Austin, like this past week even. Ugh, disgusting weather, and we are going to breakfast with my friend Catherine at Summer House. Planning on trying out some new restaurants here in Austin, and just chilling this weekend. It's Masters weekend, so I know Ryan's gonna be attached to the couch and TV. We just got our food. It actually took so long, but it, did, but it looks good. It looks amazing. Look at this. These hash browns. Wow. 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 Those are really pretty hash browns. Okay. Catherine just went home, but I wanted to stop into Freebird. It's like this new booze shop on South Congress. So let's go see what they have. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I'll get brown boots because those are the ones that need a little update or an upgrade. I feel like I got my first ever cowboy boots in high school, so that was a while ago. But I've also been thinking about maybe some black ones. We'll see. I also think these gold ones are really cool. They have like a very like subtle sheen, so it kind of could go like brown or gold. This is our famous bag trick. You just push it in, yes, and then slide the bags out, and then you have your cowboy boot on. That's so smart. Right? Yes. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so overwhelming. There's so much to choose from, but I think this might be my favorite so far. And it has a four-inch heel, and I'm trying to like not do many heels these days because I just feel like not a lot of them are very comfortable, but I feel like four inches is my max. They're just so cute, and I'm starting to wear a lot more black, so. I might go with these. I sized up on the black ones with the heels and they feel so much better. And they look so cute. I mean, I don't know with this outfit, but I actually really like them. But then I saw a longer pair, actually like long like that. So I think I'm gonna try them on in black. The longer version, let's compare and see like how much longer. I feel like that's not that much longer, right? Oh, actually that's a bit longer. Like but these ones, yeah, these yeah. ones don't have a heel like these yeah. ones do, so. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, we decided to go with the long boots. They're so cute. <laughs> I've been back home for the past two hours and I filmed a um, brand campaign. I just do like a revision on it. So got that done, did my hair, curled my hair. I love the way my hair has been turning out because my bangs are at the perfect like spot. You know when you just get your bangs cut and then they just don't curl as well? I feel like they're curling like perfectly now. So I'm very happy about that. And I've actually been using a curling wand lately because I did it recently and I was in love with the way it turned out. So I'm gonna have a TikTok going up that explains how I do it, but I wanted to style an outfit around my new boots that I got. I feel like this weekend is a very awesome weekend. Started off with going boot shopping, and I told you guys, we are doing a lot of eating out this weekend, at least today. So we actually have a reservation, an early reservation, because that's all they had um, at Fukumoto, and I am always craving sushi. Like, I eat it. <laughs> one to two times a week at least. And we actually haven't tried this place yet. Um, so we are going tonight and it's right on the east side, which I love when things are on the east side because I live over here. Not that anything else is that far away. Even the other day when I got invited to like some brand event, I like put in the address on my phone and it was like in East Austin. It's like amazing. I didn't even know this place exists. I feel like everything's so compact and it's also just like booming over here. So there's so many new things. I feel like there's a couple new cocktail bars that opened up like in the past week. So definitely have some exploring to do. And that's like my favorite thing about Austin is that 
you're never done exploring because there's like so much more to do. So the boots were really tight on my calves and honestly I didn't think I had that big of calves but lately I've been trying on some boots and they are large and in charge unfortunately. Um, but she said that they're going to like stretch to your foot and your calves so I'm gonna stretch them out tonight I guess. It is crazy to me how cold it is today because I just didn't think we would get any more like cold days here in Austin. Oh my gosh. I'm wearing checkered vans today to propose tonight. Ryan, shut up. <laughs> They're gonna hate you for that. I can take it out. No, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave it in. They're gonna hate you. Well, you made the joke earlier. No, I don't know. <laughs> She's scared I'm gonna propose with that ugly outfit on, weird haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. You think it's a weird haircut? Uh. Damn. <laughs> I'm currently obsessed with wasabi under my nigiri and it's just like is that little kick like I feel like I'm maturing because I actually am starting to like spicy foods which is nice because when I was little I would always ask my grandma to put sugar in my butter chicken no not butter chicken chicken curry and then like eat sugar with rotis oh my god wait roti with butter and sugar Slaps. I also need to go to the Indian store because I need to pick up more rotis and they just have like a stack this big and it's so cheap. When we ordered Indian, like right before our trip, if you want, we can, yeah. But let's go to the Indian store and get our own nons because what I was trying to say is that the nons they sell are so expensive for no dang reason. You can literally get frozen non at Trader Joe's and it's like just as good pretty much. So. We'll probably do that tomorrow. But what's on today? Or what's on this weekend? The Masters is finally here. And Brooks Kepka. Actually, I don't know. I don't know the leaderboard right now. When I left, Brooks Kepka was in the lead. Nice. I, that's who I told you to pick. Yeah, I know. He yeah. was asking me who to pick. Or were you actually filming? Or were you asking me? Uh, I asked you before I picked. Oh. Well, he was just like reading off all these names. I was like, Ryan, I don't care. <laughs> So I was like, Brooks Kepka, okay, let's pick that one because that's the only really name yeah, I know. He yeah, won last week in Live, but he hasn't played well mm -hmm. for a while. <clears throat> and then Random Mesa went to Masters for him. Well, we don't know, but probably will. So I made plans tomorrow because I, I just thought Ryan would be on the couch watching the Masters mm -hmm. all day. Yeah, um, oh, shoot, mm -hmm. sorry. Sorry. I'm just the passenger princess. No, you said get a whole few. <laughs> <laughs> thought it would be around here. Saturday today I slept in until 11 which never really happens it actually kind of felt nice but last night I was on TikTok till 2 a.m. so yeah I definitely needed to sleep in a little bit after months of being on the waitlist I finally caught the drop of the Siegelman stable hats and the one I really wanted wasn't in stock by the time I got to the site I got the black and brown one I was just telling Piper from um, Freebirds yesterday that I had this stage during like COVID I feel like when COVID first started that I like got rid of all my black I only wore neutrals never wore black and now I'm getting back into it. I think it just looks so sleek. I feel like ever since I visited New York in December everyone wears black in New York and they all just look so chic and I love like their outfits and I don't know, I always just thought it like blended in with my hair, but I've really been liking it lately. So that's why I got the hat in black. Um, but this morning I'm gonna go on a walk with my friend Maddie at Auditorium Shores. We're gonna do the little loop to get some coffee at Manana, and I'm probably gonna take Sophie because I think she needs to get out. She's getting a little cabin fe fever. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are, hello. Okay, let's go over to Auditorium Shores. I'm with Maddie, we are walking the trail. And we're about to get some chai and coffee at Mangana. Um, but this morning, I went to my car and it wouldn't start. Like the battery was completely dead. And sometimes I have to like wiggle my battery around to like get it to like work. But I tried that and it would not start. And I was FaceTiming Ryan and he was like, yeah, that's dead, dead. And I was like, great. So I just took Ryan's car. First time driving his new car. Kind of terrifying, but I kind of like it. So we got this new.
you guys think? Should I keep Ryan around? He fixed my car. <laughs> Was it easy? Uh, actually, it's actually really dead. I had to go use the jumper trim. Oh, shit. Well, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Yay. And it was my first time driving Ryan's car. I told him I really liked it and I want his car now. <laughs> but for now, this will do. I do need to clean out my car one of these days. <laughs> I've been saying that since the beginning of the year though, so we'll see when that happens. The moment of truth. Yay. Thanks, babe. Uh-oh, still on? So I have to take it to the shop. I hate car shops. I wonder what happened.